Welcome to the Home for Innovation. For months now, I've been talking to you about manufacturing and who can we trust to provide consistent, reliable supply of the goods and services this country needs. It's us, the U.S. Story from East China, city of Wenzhou, is battling its own subprime crisis. Seven local business leaders have fled Wenzhou in the last month, leaving thousands of people unemployed and unsure of what their future is. Interestingly enough, rising costs and a slowing economy have caused the bankruptcy of these companies, in addition to the fact that they took very expensive loans from their government to start up their businesses. Does that sound familiar to anyone? In the meantime, most of these people were manufacturers. And so what does that mean? It means we have unreliable supply coming on. We have economic unrest coming on. Remember what I told you months ago. It takes more than cheap labor to drive a burgeoning economy. You need infrastructure. You need patent and idea protection. You need motivated and educated employees. You need political stability. You need some way to control corruption. You need proper capitalization. You need quality. Remember, we've had problems with products coming out of China. Lead paint and toys. We've had dog food problems. We've had milk problems. We've got infrastructural problems. A recent train crash in China is bringing this to light. The tracks were made from a substandard methodology. So the message is that China is going through exactly what the U.S. has been through. And the real message is the only way we can count on consistent, sustainable supply in this country is to make it here because we cannot count on other countries. We're seeing China go through this process. Same thing Japan went through in the 80s and 90s. China will go through in half that time. And the next country we move low-cost manufacturing to will go through that process in half that time. So we are chasing our tail. The ultimate answer is fix the problems in our country. Don't move the problems of some other country. Why? Because manufacturing is the key to real wealth, and real wealth equals manufacturing. We'll see you here next time on The Home for Innovation.